Hi friends, leaving all to flee from Jesus. Leaving all to flee from Jesus. We're in Mark chapter 14 again. This time we're looking at verses 43 to 52. Leaving all to flee from Jesus. My name is Dwayne and we're in the deep water today. This is a painful moment in the life of Jesus. The Bible says that a crowd comes to him. Can you see him? A crowd arrives uh, shortly after Jesus has been in prayer with the disciples uh, up on the Mount of Olives there in the Garden of Gethsemane, forsaken by his friends. They're all asleep. But when they awake and Jesus is proceeding out now, he is met by a crowd led by Judas. Desire of Ages, page 716, makes clear. Ellen White writes that Judas had been possessed by a spirit of avarice, that he, money, the love of mammon, the love of money had overtaken his life. And all he could see was those 30 pieces of silver. So he brings a crowd. He brings the chief priest. They've got clubs and they've got all kinds of things with them, ready to seize and take Jesus. He tells the, the, the priest, the man that I kiss, he whom I kiss, that's the one. And he arrives, he says, Rabbi, comes close to Jesus, kisses him. Jesus responds, you know, I've been with you guys teaching in the synagogue and preaching. No one has seized me, but now you do it in secret. Now, after all of this, now you do it. And then Jesus says, you know, it's only being done because the gospel, the scriptures must be fulfilled. The scriptures must be fulfilled. Prophecy must be fulfilled that this is how I will be betrayed. Judas's actions in this moment are uh, reminiscent of us. Sometimes we betray Christ in many different ways. Don't always have to bring a crowd. Don't always have to sell him out for money. Sometimes we sell him out for other things that mean a lot to us. Judas brings the crowd. Bible says that when the crowd comes, everyone scatters. <laughs> just like Zacharias said in his, uh, uh, the prophet wrote, just as Jesus said yesterday in our study, that, that when the shepherd is struck, all the sheep will scatter. Disciples scatter now. Peter and, and his, I won't ever give you up. I will die for you, Lord. Peter's gone to following from a distance, watching, watching from a distance, trying as best they could to see what will happen to Jesus. Jesus accepts it. He knows that the moment has arrived. The moment for which his life had been angling all this time, that moment has now arrived. And Jesus accepts the pain and the suffering in order to head to the cross. Someone pulls out a sword, chops off the ear of one of the soldiers on the scene. John tells us that it was Peter. Why was Peter carrying a sword? Good question. Why is Peter carrying a sword? Peter chops off the man's ear, you know, before he flees. Uh, we know in the scripture that Jesus puts that ear back on. Isn't that amazing? Jesus performs a miracle right on the scene and they still arrest him. That ought to be, that should have been enough for, to free him right there that he was who he claimed to be. But not in this moment. Jesus is headed to the cross. As we study today, may we remember and be mindful of the things, the minor Judas Iscariots in our lives that sometimes betray the master.